Hey everybody, Debbie Jackson here. And Todd Long, Carolina Realty World and Keller Williams. Welcome to our semi-annual update for the housing industry in the greater Charlotte region. As real estate professionals, we try to do this on a regular basis for our benefit to keep our clients informed of what's happening. And from time to time, we like to share this with you guys. Yeah, so we'll just jump right in here. Uh, you see those quick facts there on this page. Year over year, closed sales, negative 4.2% change. And a lot of times you'll hear in the media that the, the closed sales are down for the year. Yeah, or, our closed sales are up, but they always yeah. talk about the closed sales. Yeah, and, and they don't give you any background on why that's happening. Right, so the closed sales are either up or down because either buyers are buying or not buying, or sellers are selling or not selling. And often, the media tries to make out like when closed sales are down, it's because buyers are not buying. And in this particular market, we have buyers. The problem is we don't have enough inventory. That's right. In fact, our number of homes for sale change from last year to this year is 20% lower. That means there are 20% less homes available for buyers to buy than last year. That's a big number. And let's look at that other number too, the median sales price. We are up 9.5% since last year at this time. So our median sales price in the greater Charlotte area is $235,000. So that is a big gain. Anytime we get above about 7 to 8% year over year gains, we start running into some issues with affordability. And honestly, when we get to those double digit numbers, 9, 10, 11% gain year over year, we're starting mm -hmm. to get in in trouble. Yes, we sure are. And that's definitely showing up in the month's supply of inventory Ooh, right now. That month's supply of inventory means 2.2 that we actually hardly have any inventory for right. houses to sell. A balanced market is usually five to seven months. So anytime we're under five months of inventory, it's really a seller's market. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of competition for the homes. And you can even see back in the heyday of 05, 06, 07, we got down to just about four and a half, five months of inventory. And wow, just look at that number now, down around mm -hmm. two months of inventory. That is basically no inventory. Yeah, it's barely showing on the graph. <laughs> right. We can't be negative, so it won't go too much farther <laughs> There's down. always going to be something available <laughs> to sell, and yet two months of inventory means that there's just not a whole lot of inventory out no, there. No, there's really nothing. And then we'll look at this housing affordability index, and uh, this is what that, you know, I know you hear that a lot on the news as well, and the housing affordability index, and this is only for our region that we're looking at, and uh, that is the measurement of housing affordability for this region. For example, an index of 120 means the median household income is 120% of what is necessary to qualify for the median priced home, which is 235,000 under the prevailing interest rates, somewhere in that four and a half to five percent right now. And a higher number means greater afford affordability. And our affordability index number is not at 120, it's at 108. Right, we're at 108 for the year. And you know, we saw in 2007, 2008, we dipped below 100% for a brief period, but that was when we were doing those no income, no asset verification loans. Basically, they were lending to people that could not afford the homes that they were buying. That's right. And that did not last. No, it didn't. And what happened is the the bank would loan someone a house or a loan, make a loan on a house for $100,000 when actually the person could only afford payments on 85000 Right. And once they were trying to make their payments, they just they didn't have that cash to pay that. Right. Um, so we're starting to see those dips here, like we were seeing in 05, 06, 07, getting down close to that 100% number. And we, we really can't go below 100%. So we've been talking about what could happen in this market to uh, continue it on the path that's been, or are we going to see a turn? And there's really three factors in that. That's right. One is the interest rate. That's right. One is the interest rate could go down. The other is um, the in, your income could go up. We could see incomes go up, and that's possible. Mm -hmm. We're seeing some better jobs come into this region, better paying jobs. There's been a tax cut nationally, so that's going to raise income a little bit. That's yeah. right. We've gotten, a, yeah, some good news on that front. Right. And then the other thing that could happen is our median 
price for homes could actually decrease. Right. So interest rates either have to go down, incomes have to go up, or the prices will go down. If you want to have a conversation with us about your situation in real estate, just give us a call at 704-360-0667. Have a great week. Thank you.